Were you working with Orlando Brown on that show? Yeah. When you were working with him, did you have any idea that he was as crazy as he is? Orlando's not crazy, in my opinion. Well, he's Orlando, a, Orlando's one of the most talented individuals. Very talented I've guy. Ever worked with his in interv- my, his in interviews fucking life. are fucking wild, though. I think he does that because he's he's an he's an intelligent person. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to get clicks. He knows how to get. He knows what it takes. He's feel like me? a walk. Like he's, yeah, he's definitely like viral. He just, yeah, he he want to go viral. That's all it is. I don't believe he's he's not crazy at all. Orlando right. Orlando got sense. Believe me when I tell you, the boy got all the sense. Y'all could thank that man. Crazy. Some people that could have crazy. too much sense though. Maybe that you that could I mean? be it. Yeah. But one thing about it, the boy ain't crazy. If you mm. ask me, he know what he's doing. So when you guys, you were working with Orlando on uh, that's so Raven. Did you guys have a close relationship back then? Yeah, that was my dog, man. Yeah. Like he was in the music, so you know what I mean. One of the people that helped me learn how to like really write raps, and you know what I mean, was a big bro figure as well. Like, wow. like kind of you know what I mean. He was a dope dude growing up, and still is in my opinion. Like I don't, I, he's very don't listen. Him, he's like, entertaining. If, if if you don't know him personally, if you ain't see the side of him that I seen, and sorry for you, but I know that nigga in a real way. So he's he's, a good inter- dude. he's entertaining. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, he doesn't seem like a bad guy. Nah, I just absolutely not. Feel like he's, he'd be saying some wild shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but a lot of niggas do. They just pay attention to him because, like, oh, he was on Disney, so what? Well, he not he not allowed to say wild shit. That's true. You know do I mean? you ever feel like that you had to shake that for a while, being like the Disney Channel guy? Uh, yeah, absolutely. But one thing about it is, I've always been me. Like, if you believe I'm a Disney Channel nigga, that mean that's just what you believe. I don't really give a damn. Like, I was just wondering because, like, you know, I feel like if you're you know, we've seen so many people come from the Disney Channel mm-hmm. on the pop side, but not as much on the hip hop side. Yeah. So it's something kind of different, you know? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, for me, if people do their research with me, they'll see that I started with the hip hop. I started rapping. I was coming up rapping Bow Wow. I did Apollo. I went through all. I did uh, Sally, uh, Ricky Lake, Jenny Jones, all these. You, you was on all those shows? Man, I'm, I'm an OG, Kev. I'm not bullshit, man. I'm the OG, man. You ain't seen role models, man. Come on, man. I'm the OG, man. I know second. you done seen role models, Kev. Of course, Come man. on. You were on Jenny Jones and Ricky Lake? Yes, bro. That's the one Sally, two Jesse, punch. Sally Jesse Raphael. I did all of them. Sally Jesse, I, too? Sally Je- I did them all, man. Jesus. I'm a big dog, man. I've been doing this shit, man. I'm trying to tell these folks. You were on there just like as like the kid rapper? I was rapping, yeah. Yeah. I even did a uh, shit. I don't rap no more. What? Come on, man. I'm I'm an OG, man. I done so been you've been on I done did it all in all the most unthinkable places if you think about it, bro. Maury, who else done rap no Maury? I don't know, man. Come on, man. I was rapping on Maury. A lot Maury. of people needed to wrap it up on Maury. Yeah, that was the problem. They said Bobby J, these niggas can't wrap it up, so you just come spit a rap. Fuck it. Jeez. What was uh for you as a kid, which show was like the coolest for you to like be on? Because that's gotta out of those uh, talk shows. Bob uh, talk shows? Okay. Yeah, um, out, of, out of the ones we just talked about. The, you know, the toxic ones. <laughs> I'll probably have to say Maury just because I was a little bit older and I was more familiar with Maury by the time. I wasn't that familiar with Sally and Ricky Lake and James Jones when I had went on them. I was still in like five years old at that time, five, six years old, yeah. somewhere like that. But by the time I made it to Maury, I had already seen Maury on TV. Like I, You could probably see it. It's somewhere on the internet. You'll see me. I had a Maury. I did the Maury impression. You know what I mean? Like I did the whole how niggas be when... Uh, when the baby ain't there is when they find out. It's funny. I did that 20 years ago before it became a meme. Right before it was a thing, yeah. Yeah, but I did that 20 years ago on Maury. Like, you can find that somewhere, I swear to God. Like, it's funny as hell to just see that type of shit now. But, yeah, like. If you think back to those, like, talk shows, like, some of the premises of those shows were absolutely wild. Yeah, absolutely. It'd be like, a trans member of the KKK <laughs> reveals that his son is black. Next. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd be like, whoa! What the fuck? What Where the do they fuck? find these fucking people? <laughs> <laughs> you That's know crazy. it too. It'd be like a nah, for sure, for sure though. Nah, for sure. Shout out to you. Just didn't make it to Jerry. Nah, I ain't make it to Jerry. I'm o- I'm kind of okay with that. Though. You're okay with that. I'm okay with that. Shout okay out to Jerry. Damn, that. Damn, Shout wild. out to Jerry. But I'm I'm glad I ain't make it to Jerry. 